Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tarot reading, but we're going to start with a couple of oracle messages to begin. This is a general reading, no gender, only energy. It's a timeless reading, so what resonates with you, take that. What does not, leave it behind. Roles can be reversed and cross watchers are welcome here. Okay, let's begin. I've been on a long hiatus guys and I'm back. I'm glad to be back. I missed you all. So let's start. Okay. What do we have for our Capricorns to begin this reading today? Guys, if you come across this video by the title or just even by accident, there is something here for you, so stick around, okay? Stick around through the whole video if you can. Some messages may resonate, some may not. We have time to ground. That's beautiful energy. As an earth sign, you all know exactly how to ground, right? So this is a very, very Capricorn energy. It's going to be time for you to pay attention to some of the things that may be unsettling at this time it could just be also that you know you're going through something that requires a little bit of patience okay um the tarot reading will dive deep into what this is talking about but just uh just know that i see patience is required Patience is required. As you can see, there is a turtle. Turtles take their time, right? They, you know, really move slow. And, you know, he always wins the race. The turtle always wins the race. So, take your time. Okay, let's get one more. Nurture all you love nurture all you love so beautiful energy i love that at this time you may be having to you know take some time to step back and really pay attention to the things that are that are important to you okay need and necessity is what i see at the bottom of the deck here so yeah i'm really feeling feeling um this real um grounding energy, really quiet, uh, needing to take your time, needing to nurture, needing to, I'm feeling like, um, king of pentacles energy here, uh, queen of pentacles energy. So I'm not going to be surprised if, if one of those, um, uh, cards comes out in the tarot. Okay. So let's see, this could have something to do with uh, your, your money, your stability when it comes to your finances um, and relationships, right? Because it's talking about love as well. So let's see, we're going to look at your current situation, current energy as it is while you're watching this reading, depending on when you find this, this message is valid. Two of wands. This is selecting a path and really moving towards it passionately, okay? Selecting a path and really putting all of your energy and excitement into this new path, whatever it is. But there's a decision here that you may be, you may have already chose this path or you may be on your, you know, in, in like decision mode, right? Well, what do I want to do? Do I want to go to school or do I want to get a job? Do I want to do both? Do I want to move? Whatever it is for you. Okay. What else? What else do we have in the current situation? We have the four of cups. Hmm. Are you bored? Capricorn, is there something you're bored with? You want to move? Oh, the tower. Something's coming down. Something, something's coming down the pipes, Capricorn. What is it? Ooh, there you are. No, that's not you. Sorry. I looked at it incorrectly. This is the Emperor. This is Aries energy. The Emperor. 
Now this could be you. You could be in the emperor energy. Okay. Gender is not a thing in the general reading. So you could be an emperor and the emperor energy, uh, really, really taking control of the situation. Okay. I'm not surprised Capricorns are very, um, you know, forthright and they do take control of, of things. So what I'm seeing here is that there could be something that is being offered to you or something that, um, you know, comes in for you and you're just not accepting it. You're just like, mm, I don't know. I, I don't really know if I want to take that one there. I might take the other one, right? Kind of indecisive feeling like, oh, it might not be for me. I mean, you're really stepping into your energy of the, you know, this, this ener emperor energy. Now, if this is someone outside of you, it could be, this is an Aries. Okay. Now this could, you know, be talking about something going on with this tower moment. There could be something that's, um, falling away, something that has to do with an authority figure, someone who is, uh, maybe a boss. You could be changing, um, jobs. This could be, um, you know, whoever, this is they're definitely in you know authority mode if this is someone outside of your energy okay nonetheless what i see is that there's there's either an offer coming through or something somebody offering you something and you're just kind of like i don't know i don't know if this is really what i want i'm going to have to really wait and see you could also be bored you could you can be bored you know maybe some job that you're at or in a relationship and you could possibly just wait you're waiting to let it fall or it's already happened so let's take a look and see what the challenge is regarding the situation okay we'll look more into why the tower is here because that is a challenge but it's also an opportunity so let's see how it pans out here how this tower is going to come across in the in this um, this row here because this is our challenge let's see what is hindering our capricorns at this time what is this tower and how is it hindering capricorn at this time what's going on with this Current energy page of cups so this is potentiality when it comes to love you could be going back and forth between a situation where there's an offer someone may be um, proposing to you or offering you something it doesn't have to be a proposal but it could be even an apology okay we have the ace of swords truth that's truth right there. And the king of pentacles. What did I say? I knew he was coming out. I knew it. I felt it. This is your energy here. Now this is your energy. Okay. King of pentacles. And we have the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. So there's some confusion here. I feel like there's confusion about whether or not you want to speak up or say something about maybe there's something that you need to say or someone someone else outside of you needs to say something to you i've been getting the, this reading a lot with people i'm not sure what's going on but there's a lot in the air and i think it's Mer mercury retrograde um people are like not wanting to speak up or people are like keeping things back not wanting to share their ideas or not wanting to express themselves. It's kind of weird. I'm getting that energy with a lot of the readings. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. Now, this could be you wanting to keep, you know, silent or maybe wanting to. Um, I'm feeling because the King of Pentacles here, this is this is money. So maybe you are wanting to. And I'm I, I take that back, not not staying silent, but actually wanting to speak your truth. Maybe you're wanting to quit a quit a job. Okay. Or maybe there this emperor, this job, this 
boss or whatever wants to come in and speak to you and wants to kind of go over things with you. But with the Page of Cups, I feel like there's some sort of an apology or something that has uh, emotion attached to it. Okay. With the Page of Cups, this could be also um, somebody coming towards you, right? This could be the offer that I see here with the Four of Cups. Maybe somebody coming towards you in a possible, um, if it's not work, it could be, you know, someone who likes you, someone who wants to come out and say, hey, you know, I really want to uh, get to know you or let's move forward together, right? And there's the Seven of Cups, you're kind of confused. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know which way to go. Should I? Should I? Should I? You know? Now, I'm getting a little bit, I'm even feeling confused with this message here because I'm seeing the confusion with the Seven of Cups and I'm seeing the Ace of Swords, which is clarity. That's, you know, very opposite energies. <laughs> so someone could be very confused here. There, there could be someone who is, you know, with these, with these Oracle cards, I'm feeling that this is saying that you need to really ground yourself, right? Nurture your love, whoever it is that you're with or whatever it is that you do. And, you know, need and necessity, maybe just focus on what you're needing at this time and not really um, focus on things that aren't important. This is a weird message. I'm not sure where it's going. Let's look at what actions you should take in this situation. This is, I don't know, it's a little weird. With the Seven of Cups here, I'm feeling that energy very heavily. It feels... It, it feels... Um, ungrounding, actually. Maybe that's why the grounding card is here. Take your time. Take your time. Hmm. The King of Pentacles does take his time. Seven of Swords. Yeah, I'm feeling weird. Like, I'm feeling this energy of someone who just... Um, wants to run off or something like someone who wants to like hide hide from the truth or hide from maybe confused about whether or not to tell the truth whether or not to apologize for something whether or not to to come out and and you know say what they feel Maybe there's someone here who is bored in a relationship. That's possibility because we have the four of cups here. Maybe there's something here. Maybe it's you, Capricorn. Maybe you're bored in your relationship or at your job. And you really don't want to express the truth about how you feel about the situation. Maybe you want to say, look, you know, I really do. I'm really sorry, but I got to go. I got to go this way you know, but maybe you're confused and maybe feeling like you can't, you can't really do it. Hmm. Yeah. Because the seven of cups is here and it could be the other way around. Roles can be reversed. So someone else could be feeling like this about you. The eight of swords. Yes. Look at that. Somebody's feeling like they can't speak. Somebody's feeling like they are tied up in a situation somebody's feeling, you know, this could be a relationship that is just completely, I don't want to, uh, it's, it's tough. Like somebody who's just really bored in the relationship and doesn't know how to, how to speak up, but feels stuck, right? Feels stuck in the relationship and doesn't want to, or doesn't know how to get out of it. Someone's here, someone here is saying, you know, I'm really sorry, but I got to go a different way. I, I got to pick another path, something that's going to excite me, something that's going to be more, um, more conducive to my energy. Let me get one more. And I think the King of Pentacles is here. There could be something here that is talking about the finances, finances. Maybe someone doesn't, maybe someone wants to we have the three of pentacles, but it's in reverse. 
came out reverse. Yeah. So you know how, so in this scenario, they're helping each other, right? They're helping each other pull each other up, but it's in reverse. So they're letting go of that rope. They're not helping each other. They're letting go of the rope. So this is what you need to do. Let go of the rope. Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter energy. Okay, this is letting the wheel turn where it needs to. Okay. What I'm hearing with this row here is cut the cut the rope. As you can see, this girl in this card here is tied up with rope. And this one is reverse, letting the rope go. So if you're letting the rope go and releasing it, then it's going to unbind, unbind the rope from whatever it's tied to. And it seems like it's tied to this woman here and this um, eight of swords. That's what I'm seeing. So it's like, let go, let go, cut the, cut the ties. Even if there's somebody here who's financially more stable than you, or if you're dependent on somebody else that's more stable, you could be dealing with uh, another Capricorn um, or a Virgo or Taurus or an Aries, as I said. Okay. So put the roles where, you know, where they belong. If it's you or them in the situation, somebody definitely needs to, to cut ties and somebody may just be like, you know, I don't know how to say it. Um, I've been kind of hiding how I, you know, how I think about this situation. I, you know, I don't, I have a lot of thoughts about it, right? Somebody wants to maybe start over or apologize for this truth. The truth is right in the middle here with the Ace of Swords. This is the truth. I'm so sorry, Capricorn. This is this is a, a difficult energy, um, but the tower is letting you know that if this hasn't happened yet, it's you know definitely down the pipe. It's it's coming down the pipe, and unexpectedly there could be you know something coming in that requires you to release somebody or even a job. You know if this isn't a a person or if this isn't a relationship, um, or this could even be a friendship. Okay. This could be somebody who just doesn't, uh, vibe with you. This person just doesn't vibe with you cap. My cappies, I'm sorry. So, you know, if this is a job, you know, you may have to move on. If there's somebody you work with, you just can't get along with. If there's a friend who's taking advantage of you or somebody who uh, just can't seem to get it right and appreciate your energy or reciprocate with you, it's just not, it's not conducive. Okay. Actually, I'm being called to use this deck. Let's get some advice. Okay. Try not to make these readings too long. Uh, before I used to do like 40 minute readings. I can't do that anymore. Too long, too long. Let's just get some advice before we close the reading. Guys, if this resonates with you, um, please like the video, share, comment, subscribe to the channel to help support the channel grow. Um, let's see what Spirit has as advice for you. My beautiful Cappies. Okay, what advice do we have for Capricorn? Mother of Pentacles, there's that nurture all you love. So, you know, I'm getting, I'm hearing, don't compromise your happiness for somebody else. If you're bored, move on. It's okay, right? If you don't want something or you're not comfortable in someone's presence, move on. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with protecting your energy. Son of Wands. That's the Knight of Wands. Move forward. Move forward is what this is saying. Nurture all that you love. I keep hearing that. I keep being called to that. 
and the Four of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have Mother of Wands. A lot of wand energy here. So this is really saying there's, you know, it's, it's a fiery energy mixed with this earth energy. This very deep earth energy that's asking you to really take your time and step back and only gather and keep what you need, right, in your life. And then we have this energy here of, again, right, nurture all you love, mother of pentacles. This is, you know, the mother who nurtures. No gender here, okay, just energy. Someone who nurtures, someone who takes care of themselves, someone who takes care of the things that they're passionate about. With this energy here, this is stability. This is really moving towards your own stability and really nurturing that with passion and energy and and vigor right so if there's something that you want to do if this there's like you know a hobby or there's somebody that you really want to pursue or if there's a job that really really um is on your radar whatever it is for you this is saying do it go forward with it do it if you're bored or you're you're being taken advantage of or you're being um you know, it, if you're in any situation that just does not vibe with you, Capricorn, it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. It's okay. You can. It's okay to protect your own energy. I'm here to tell you that it's okay. If nobody else has, I'm here to tell you. The Wheel of Fortune wants you to move forward. Let the wheel turn in the direction it needs to turn in. That's in, of your highest good because the universe will choose your highest good every time okay it may not seem like that that's why the tower is always scary because it doesn't seem like this is an energy that could um, be a good one right when the tower falls a lot of things can you know feel heavy but it's only for a moment because there is the you know the law of polarity the universal law of polarity is about the balance, right? If there's something bad that happens, well, what's the other end of the spectrum? Something good. When the tower falls, that means that you're beginning something new and you're going to you're going to rebuild in a way that is more conducive to what you're meant for. Okay? Again, mother of wands, there's wands, wands, wands here. Right? This is someone who is confident and knowing what they want to do and nurturing. Again, you can see this snake here is nurturing um, her eggs, right? She's not letting anybody get near those eggs. She's nurturing all that she loves. I'm going to end it there, Capricorn. Nurture all that you love, okay? And I love you guys. Until next time, guys. Namaste.